Oh, so how much, question, how much rainfall is 72 inches? Well, if we go to the door here, 72 inches, of course, is six feet tall. That is how much rain we have had in 2018. If you go and measure the up to the hood of the 986 from the floor to the top of the hood, that is six feet of rain. That's how much it rained this year. All right, guys, it is Monday. Today is the first day of uh, rifle deer season. Uh, it's a perfect day to wear bright colored clothing and uh, as the saying goes stay indoors and away from windows um, as you can see the first day here is not amounting to a whole lot uh, there is a lot of rain here it was pouring earlier still coming down pretty steady um, this rain is uh, we got to be getting two inches out of this rainfall uh, two days ago we had at least two inches of rain um, Went from two days in the 20s to two days in the 50s without any type of transition, just 20, 50. So, uh, just an amazing uh, thing going on here. Anyway, uh, today's video I've been wanting to do for a long time. I was waiting for the perfect opportunity, and today's the day. I will try to make it interesting for you guys. We're going to be using a whiteboard, and we're going to be uh, looking at some numbers here. So, let's get right into it. All right, so the question uh, right here. Here's the question. Um, you guys know that we've had a lot of rain. Uh, Pennsylvania has seen a lot of rain. New Jersey has seen a lot of rain and many other parts of the country have seen uh, high rainfall this year. It's not on, uh, not really uncommon for more than just us, but uh, how much and has it happened before in the last decade? I am gonna answer that question today. I went back to 2002, I've got a list. So let's do the rundown here. Let me get all the data here on the board and we will go through it. All right, so I have the data going Going back to 2002, well, all this data comes from my farm logs app. You can look back and get the uh, yearly rainfall. Uh, what this tells me is this weather for 2018 has happened before, at least for us. I heard a lot of guys say nothing like this has ever happened before. Uh, we've never had the rainfall that we've had like we've had in 2018. It's never happened. Uh, a lot of the older guys I talked to, it never happened like this before. It's no use you ever say that with the weather because at some point in the history of our <laughs> planet here, um, it has happened already. So, and this cat will not be quiet. Quiet, I'm making a video. All right, so we're going back to 2002, and you can kind of see our average, uh, it goes up and down slightly, but we're in that 40 to 50 inch uh, of rain for the year, uh, 2002, and all these are in inches. If anybody overseas is watching, I'm going by inches here. So we had 49 inches in 02, 03, 55, 04, 51, 05, 43, so that's getting down, 43 is low, 06, 52, 07, 41, so 07 was a little bit dry for us. Uh, 08, 44, 09, 45, uh, 2010, 44. All right, so when I say this has happened before, and it has, it just hasn't happened in the growing season uh, when the corn was uh, pollinating, tasseling, uh, when the beans were putting pods on, uh, when you're trying to make hay, it has happened before. 2011, we've had 72 point 80 inches in 2011 so i have found a year that matches our year and the reason for that hurricane lee uh, i remember hurricane lee very well it was my second year living on this property and my basement flooded it flooded with uh, nine ten inches of water i had to uh, pump the water out and as fast as i was pumping it out it was rushing in this 72 inches if you follow the charts on the 10 year average the or the yearly rainfall it was normal and then as soon as we hit september when the hurricane season started in 2011 we had six inches of rain in a day and a half and then after that just just rain event after rain event after rain event and the end of the year it was a normal year till september by the time september hit we were flooded roads were flooded roads were completely destroyed here uh, culvert pipes were blown out bridges were taken down um, hurricane lee was rough for us here in this area and uh, as, as well as other areas it rained so hard for so long that uh, everything was just underwater um, that was the last time we had a real major, major flooding rain event. I know we had one this year, but <clears throat> we did not have the damage this year that we had in 2011. 
So it has happened before, um, but not well the crops were growing. So then we go to 2012, we have 40 inches, which is a little low. 2013, we hit kind of a drought year for us at 37 inches, um, a drier year. And it all depends on, you can, have a, you can have 37 inches and be fine and not notice anything, no problems with the crops or anything. It just depends on the type of the year uh, or the time of the year when the rain comes, when you get your 37 inches. I believe in 2013, we had an extremely dry winter. It did not rain, snow, sleet, or any of that kind of stuff all winter long. I, I kind of remember 2013 as being very dry. Um, and we had rain over the summer, and I don't think crops suffered because of it. 2014, 44, 2015, another drought year. And again, I think that was another winter where it didn't do anything. It was a pretty mild winter, if I remember right. 2016, 43, and 2017, they were kind of the same at 43 so 2018 where does that leave us for this year and this does not include the two inches we're having today plus it's only november we have a whole month of rainfall yet to to come but right now we are at 71.26 inches of rain and i think after today we have at least tied 2011 in total rainfall for the year so um <laughs> like i said it's uh just how it's going for us. Uh, a couple other thoughts yet on the end of this video. All right, and I wanna thank my landlord. Uh, he has found my channel now, so I gotta be careful what I say about the guy, but uh, no, he's a great guy. Um, hunting season, <laughs> he made me some parking tickets here to issue to people. Um, Hunters, please park by the pond. Do not park in the vicinity of the house or farm buildings, thank you. Uh, this place, like I say, there's 44, 44 people that have permission to hunt. Um, anybody that parks uh, in front of my house or my neighbor's house or in front of the uh, farm buildings here, uh, hunting season is uh, hit and miss. Like I say, on a day like today, there's nobody here. I didn't see any vehicles. There might be one die hard out in the woods uh, with a rain suit on, but for the most part, uh, it didn't happen today, first day, but uh, they'll be here. And we've had uh, people park, <laughs> they'll park right here. They'll say, oh, nice stone area, park here. And then I can't get my vehicles out of the building to go anywhere. They park over by the uh, well house over there. And uh, then you can't, the mailman can't turn around or anybody can't turn around. They have parked up by my house and <coughs> driven right in the grass in weather like this and have made terrible ruts that I've had to come back and fix in the spring. They have driven up on the hill and through the fields. Um, they've parked in, on the, in the way of the road that goes up to the hill. Um, they've parked in the fields and with it, the ground being soft right now and not frozen, the road up to the hill is absolutely a disaster. It's so muddy. Uh, we made a mess at harvest that I have to go back and fix with the loader bucket. Um, just a, a mess. So I do not want people up there driving through on that road uh, causing ruts. And with no till, with standing water in the fields, I do not want vehicles driving out through uh, just to hunt deer. So there's a pond down there with a parking lot. That's where they have to park. If they park anywhere else, they're getting a farm issued parking ticket so <laughs> trying to work with hunters but there are just some it's not all hunters but there are just some that just do not have a clue um <laughs> how to uh, respect the farm the farm the people at the farm the owner that kind of stuff so and any of you guys that are farmers you absolutely know what i'm talking about all right, and I don't think I used an umbrella so much in my entire life as I did this year, but you know, you just get too many uh, shirts and sweatshirts soaked right through. You just get tired of being drenched and you carry an umbrella. Uh, raincoats don't work because then you just have wet pants. But yeah, it's coming down now. You can see it. I don't know. I don't know how well it's picking up, but anyway. Um, so, uh, and a lot of guys know this, but anything uh, with the rain, it's all about the timing. Everybody knows that timing. You can, we could probably survive with 25 inches as long as it came when the crops needed it. And, <laughs> but as far as a drought, drought year, um, you can have, also you can have 52 inches of rain and still have a terrible drought and have uh, drought uh, conditions in your crops. It all depends on the timing. You can have a wet January, February, March, April, and then it'll dry up all the way till uh, late fall and uh, still accumulate 52 inches of rainfall and uh, have your crops suffering and the rain that does come, it was either too early or too late. You guys know that, I'm just rehashing things. So as far as dry years, you gotta go back to 2013 and 2015. 2015 isn't that long ago but again these two years if i remember 
Uh, I know 13 was a drier year, but I mean, that's what it is. So after today, we are gonna at least tie this number from 2011, and I can guarantee you by December 31st, we will have set the record uh, for 2018 going back to at least 2002. That's as far as back as I have data. So um, not to say, I'm sure there was other years when it, we had this much, but this this year, 2011, I remember very well. I mean, it was, uh, I know, <laughs> I know something, we're, we're pretty close to flooding conditions now. I mean, this water that's standing in the fields is similar to how it was over the summer. Um, definitely. And uh, uh, I know a lot about flooding because the other farm, growing up as a kid, we had a creek right behind the house and our farmhouse flooded so many times uh, since I was a kid. Just water coming in. Uh, the first floor underwater. Uh, it did flood this year. Dad had a he heck of a time cleaning it up. Um, but again, when I talk about timing, you remember 2017. We only had 43 inches of rain in 2017. And 2017, last year, if you go back in my videos, last year was a nightmare trying to make hay because the bulk of this came during the growing season uh, when you're trying to make hay. But it, it kind of, it wasn't to this extreme, but we got rain when we did and i think that's why the yields were a little bit higher last year but uh, this was just from from spring till fall this this was scattered throughout the entire year as far as the timing uh an inch today tomorrow nice an inch the next day the next day cloudy an inch then two inches then a day it, you only had maybe two days total that it didn't rain um all year and when you did get a rain day you got an inch or more so that's what makes this kind of a unique year. I will say that when uh, some of the people say that they've never seen anything like this, it was unique in that it started in the winter time with 27 inches of snow and continued all year to get this. Like I say, 2011, this was a fall. Um, we probably would have had a 52 inch year if it wasn't for the fall when we just got hit with uh, all the East Coast hurricanes and then some. Uh, here in the northeast on the eastern part of Pennsylvania, you get the outer bands of the hurricanes and they just sit over you and spin and spin and spin and they drop rain and drop rain. And it all depends on how fast of a system it is, if it's moving up or down or in or whatever way it's going. Uh, you get those like Lee, which stalls and just sits there and just it spins over you and just drops the rain and drops the rain and six inches of rain later, um, you're, the, all the municipalities are destroyed and bridges are falling down and houses are flooding and cellars are flooding. So, all right, I think I talked enough on this subject. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found it interesting. Like I say, these are my numbers for the farm here. Uh, I can go back and check them um, and they're all in inches. So um, I thought it'd be interesting to guys in different parts of the country that maybe don't even see 37 inches of rainfall in a year. Uh, it's wet here. And especially for 2018, um, th it was a very unique year. I will say that. So, and we're gonna probably set a record at least going back to 02 what dad I have there. So, all right guys, thank you guys for watching. If you are hunting and it's a nice day, good luck to you. Uh, get the, get some deer, clean up some deer, help a farmer and uh, get a deer, <laughs> get two deer. Um, all right, so we'll end it there. Thanks for watching.